your current federal identity card. L -A I'm not sure if, uh... You have entered the name Not Sure. Is this correct? No, it's not correct. Thank you. Not is correct. My last name is Not Sure. Oh. Thank you. No. Now we will begin to proceed to obtain your IQ and aptitude tests. If you have one bucket that holds two gallons and another bucket that holds five gallons, how many buckets do you have? Two. Thank you. I'm the smartest guy in the world? Says who? The IQ test you took in prison. You got the highest score in history. Okay, so who are you? I'm the Secretary of Energy. I'm the Secretary of State. You're the Secretary of Defense. Huh? And that's the Secretary of Education. What are we doing here? Okay, so All right, <clears throat> Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha Kodash, the bonus to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Salutations to all the Akim, pushing his word with true sincerity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world ignorantly calls God and Jehovah. Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name, but the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And Racha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. And as always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigner, scattered amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage, their line, through their father's um, line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites, no matter what child appearance may seem to be. And as always, I'm the brother Yadir from the Great Stone Branch here in Chicago, and I beg us another lesson. It's going to be... Um, Touching on uh, what the Spirit of the Lord been uh, speaking unto the churches, churches, which is the um, the um, implementation of the Karagma, Revelation, the thirteenth chapter, the uh, micro C hip, you know, the uh, radio frequency identification device, which the elite, the rulers of this world, the self-proclaimed white man, which is the devil, the bad guy of the Bible, which they are um, ultimately in the near future gonna um present to the world and the scriptures refer to it that as the hour of temptation let's grab that really quick and this is just you know lord willing to be edifying lesson through the through the um spirit this revelation chapter 3 and verse 10 it says because thou hast kept the word of my patience which is us in his faith you know your heart is out we endure it says i also will keep thee from the hour of temptation the hour of temptation is when the whole is when the whole you know inhabited earth people on this planet are going to be presented with the option to take this digital chip either in their hand or in their body somewhere in their body you know the scripture specify the head or in the hand right in order to buy and sell right that's the hour of temptation in which hey the spirit of the lord been speaking through different churches you had the elder out there in san francisco gms dedication he had a dream in which you know he was um going in on how um he was like his consciousness was in a, another person, an amputee that was in the army, his body. And, you know, it's like he his consciousness was in that body and he experienced having the Kragma in him, you know, and that's a revelation that the or a vision that the Lord gave him. And you had various other brothers. You had the elder apostle of the heart, the beloved elder apostle of the heart. He went in on how Neuralink, you know, uh, you know, I believe when you go into like the Greek, like um Germatria or something like that. That was linking up to 666, which Revelation the 13th chapter tell you that's the number of the man, his uh the beast, you know. And then you also had um just various brothers, you know, you got the Nashville um brothers out there, much love to those brothers. They just they're doing a live currently touching on how the um QR codes, you know, is basically leading up until the implementation of this um what the scripture referred to as the M A R K O F T H E B E A S T. Put it together, right? Because this is what's happened, man. A A A. The the visions, the prophecies of the Lord is coming to pass. Let me hold that. I'm gonna have this Habakkuk on uh, Habakkuk two on deck. We're gonna finish that. This Habakkuk. Well, I'm gonna finish this. Then I'm gonna go to that. It's Revelation three and verse ten. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. So the Lord is gonna have to. Uh, it's gonna be a spiritual. Um, the Lord's gonna put a spirit on us to resist 
It says, which shall come upon all the earth, all the world to try them, to test them that dwell upon the earth. Right. So, hey, that's this is the time that we're living in, man. This is why you see, you know, I started off with the two videos in the beginning. One was Apple. You know, they're furthering that um, further conditioning you people to this um, convenient, so-called convenient um, way of um, accessing technology, which is hey, the devil being um, subtile. You know, his ultimate goal via that chip is to merge man with machine, the fourth industrial revolution. They're going to make you, they're, they're supposedly um, trying to make you better, which ultimately, as the scriptures say, they're trying to deceive you. They're going to deceive you, right? Putting this technology inside your body, right? The second clip, you know, it was a video. It was a um, clip from the movie Idiocracy. And, and no copyright infringement intended. This is just for um, research purposes, you know. But it, um, that, that was a movie called Idiocracy. <laughs> And um, basically in that movie, you had that guy, he went like some time in the future or whatnot, and everybody was stupid. But in order for him to even get um, get into the society, they showed you right in the beginning of the thing, he had a mark in his right hand, which represented that karagma, Revelation of 13th chapter, we're going to get it as well. You know, in that movie, everybody was stupid, they were sheep, which is nothing but just showing you how the elites feel about you right now. All the, uh, you got all these people It's supposed to be the age of information But all these people, hey, they're, they're stupid You know, another movie to um, see is on um, Wally You know But nonetheless, you know, in that movie You know, it started off with, you know, Adam Sandler I believe, he got the He, he got the um, Karagma, you know And I believe they even um, told you plainly What it was in that movie, it's been a minute I watched it, I think, earlier this year sometime Or last year What well, is this guy, that's not Adam Sandler but um, as you see, his hand is a machine, and that was to get this um, get his chip. You know, I believe in a movie it was a tattoo, but it represented you know that karagma. But hey, the spirit of the Lord is is, is warning you of these things because that's what sh was surely finna come to pass. Habakkuk two and two and one. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And Yahweh answered and said, Write the vision. The vision is the prophecies. And make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it for the vision and prophecy is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak. Right. And we're here at the end. Um, first Peter four and 17. This first Peter four and um, no, nah, that's not the right one. Um, it's probably four and eleven. Let me see. Four and seven. First Peter 4 and 7, but the end of all things is at hand, right? We're here at the end, waiting on the last few prophecies that take place, which a hey, the Kragma, which is hey, the, the chief one, the Kragma, the World War Three. We see all these things right here before our face. So we can we can um a hey, measure the times and the times. Uh, second Edges 9. We can see that we're here at the end. First Peter 4 and 7, but the end of all things is at hand. Be therefore sober, clear minded. And watch unto prayer. You're being vigilant. You're measuring the times. You're not just being carried about to and fro in this world, not regarding what's happening. Right? You're attending unto wisdom. Right? Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. Right? And the prophecies are speaking. They're manifesting themselves day by day. Then shall you know that uh, the Heavenly Father shall begin to visit the world which he made and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it because it will, it will surely come. It will not tarry. Right? So, hey, the prophecies is here. They're no longer waiting. They're right before your eyes. And they, so much is happening, man. All these um, false shepherds amongst the circumcision are being exposed to the spirit of the Lord. The Lord is showing you who he's really dealing with. You know, you got hirelings fleeing, right? You got apostasy being committed. All these things are happening because, hey, the Lord is getting ready to shut the book, right? It says, behold, his soul, the self-proclaimed white man, the Edomite. Which is lifted up is not of right in him, but the just shall live by faith. So our faith is going to get us um, through these tough times to come. But hey, nonetheless, the prophecies are taking place before our eyes. And the Spirit of the Lord has these things continuously coming out. Right? Revelation chapter, it's like Ezekiel 12 and 21. And a word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying the days are prolonged and every vision fail? If everyone say, oh, You've been waiting for that all this time. We've been waiting for all that. It's June. <laughs> but now we're here. <laughs> right? It says, Tell him, therefore, thus saith Yahweh, power, I will make this proverb to cease. 
and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision, right? It says, for there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am Yahweh, I will speak and a word that I shall speak shall come to pass. And we see the word of the Lord coming to pass. You got, um, you got the um, elect waking up. You got brothers preaching this word. You got the prophecy, the, the spirit of the Lord working on um, the minds of these kings in the earth, right? You got the self-proclaimed white man, the devil pushing his, you know, his um, karagma. So now we, we can conclude from what we see through the, you know, um, you know, discerning through the spirit of the Lord. What's what's about to happen? And, hey, we're to warn the flock. Ezekiel 12 and 25. For I am Yahweh, I will speak, and a word that I shall speak shall come to pass. Right. That's why the scriptures tell you, seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. Not the Quran, not none of that other bullshit, not a damn social study book. No. The Holy Scriptures says, For my spirit have gathered the, the, the Heavenly Father given gave the word. Right? And it's gonna surely come to pass. It says, It shall no more be prolonged, for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform and say Yahweh power. Again, the word of Yahweh came to me saying, son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesy of the times that are far off. Right. And they say, oh, man, that ain't happened in our lifetime. It ain't happened in our generations. No, it's happening right before your eyes. The Lord gave us the tokens, the signs before it's coming. And hey, before it's coming, World War Three and the microchip will be will be um, implemented. Hold this Ezekiel 33. Then at Revelation 9, Lord, where we ended. It says, um, verse 26. It's like verse 28. Therefore, say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh power. There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith Yahweh power. Right. And the word of the Lord is coming to pass. Let's grab this revelation. We're in on that. Um Ezekiel 33. This revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. <laughs> I mean, Uh, 10 and um, I ain't gonna start 10. <laughs> this Revelation chapter 13, and I just hit the point. And hey, another thing I just want to touch on because verse um 14 and talk about those miracles, right? You had Elon Musk, like a, I read it. This Revelation 13 and verse 13, and he doeth great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, right? And America, Babylon, and great got their power. A second leg of the Roman Empire, they got their power and that fear, you know, when they, they drop bombs on uh newer, on the on the Japanese niggas, you know, to hell with them. Fat boy and little a little man, right? Verse 14, and deceive of them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that they that they that dwell on the earth, that they shall make an image to the beast, which is the likeliness of the ancient Roman Empire, which had the wound by a sword. And did live, right? Uh, the whole setup is re rebirthed it back in the earth. You know, those same philosophies, lifestyles, uh, is, is rebirthed it back into the earth. That's the image, the likeliness. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast shall both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a, it says, Mark. But you go into it as a karagma, which is a um, it's an imprinted. So like, let me turn this on real quick. Nah, so like, um, I don't even want to do that. But karagma goes into a um stamp, an imprinted mark, a thing carved. Going to the root of that is um, karagma. So like, I ain't got, I, you know, I had to use airplane mode. Um, karagma, korax, which is like a stale or pick. Like, it's like a, a steak or a pail, you know, something that's, that, that's, that, you know, physically goes into something, which would be the delivery system. And then it goes into grapho with um, letters, with writing, right? So this karagma, this mark is going to be something that physically breaks the skin, goes inside and has something in it um, with um, numbers, with letters, with writing in order for you to buy and sell. And what is that? This the RFID microchip. You got the Neuralink. You got the um, all these different. Uh, you got different companies pushing different types, brain chips, Neuralinks, and so forth. Right? 
us here and understand it, we understand that this is the um, the MOTB. Right. It says, and he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor and free and bond to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right. And your right hand goes into your, your power hand, your dominant hand, dextrose or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark. So it's a physical thing that they're going to require you to have in order for you to participate in this society, for you to buy and sell, go get some medical, whatever it may be. Remember that Habakkuk said, but the just shall live by faith. We're going to deny Yahweh Tazah and the Lord is going to take care of us. It says, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him have let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred and three, four and six and a six. You got the binding campaign. You got X, all these different things plainly put in your face that this is this man's system that he's bringing out. Right. So it ain't nothing else. Don't listen to anybody else telling you otherwise. Oh, it's sleeping with white women. Oh, it's, 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 it's narrow season. Oh, it's blah, 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 this and that. The prophet is telling you what it, what it is. And hey, if you had any type, of, any type of intelligence, it's plain that it's this new technology. That's why everything is going, tech, um, that's why everything is going digital. Cash, CBDCs. Soon that's going to translate to, hey, put this in your skin so we know that it's you. Or we're going to give you this and that. Right? Ezekiel 33 and verse... Thirty, thirty-three, and thirty. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, everyone to his brother, saying, "Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh from Yahweh." And they come unto thee as thy people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them right. And you had the prophets. The Lord said, I have set men upon thy walls which shall not hold their peace to the Lord reestablish and make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, right? You got the watchmen out there warning you, telling you these things, starting with our elders and apostles of the great millstone, the elders before them, telling you what, hey, hey, what this is and, and, and constantly reminding you, right? Watching for the flock, right? It says, and they come unto thee as thy people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but with their heart go off after their own covenants. But Jake do what they want to do, right? And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice. Oh, they all oh, you always see y'all talking about this and that, doing this and that. Okay. But when it happens, then what's up, right? It says, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do not do them. And when this coming to pass, lo, it will, right? And we see the prophecies coming to pass. It says, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among you. And all these people are going to realize that the prophets, the men of the Lord, starting with our elders and apostles of the great millstone, have been telling the truth this whole time. And a lot going to understand is hey, after they didn't a, a transgress and took that um C hip, that micro C hip, right? Revelation, they tell you that he that take of that, the same is going to drink of the wine of the punishment of the heavenly father. Roughly paraphrased, you see. So, hey, man, I just want to put my, my spiritual two cents on it. Lord um, Spirit is um, telling you exactly what time that this devil is on. You know, so, hey, Lord willing, this was just a quick edifying lesson called Halayim La. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Recha Korash, the modest state elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Salutation to all that I can put his word with two series with charity. Shalom, Bragatan, Wakwam, Yashwala, Shalom.